Apparently, pistachios make you really talkative. At least that's what my mom used to say. I think I ate quite a few of these as a child, and there was this day where my dad told me I could make for a great RJ. I don't know about all that, but what I do know is today I'm making a delicious and delicate cake. Whether talkative or not, I don't know. I need to grind these pistachios. So I'm going to add this to my mixer jar. It literally takes about 10 seconds to turn this into a powder. We're going to leave this here and continue with our recipe. So I'm going to start with caster sugar in my bowl and olive oil. Olive oil adds a nice background flavor to this cake. If you don't have olive oil, you can also use any other regular oil. With this, I'm also adding some soft butter. This is salted and soft at room temperature. Now, the reason we're using butter and oil both is to keep this cake as light as possible. I'm just going to mix this with my whisk just until it comes together. Next, I'm going to add in yogurt. This will make the cake even more moist. And add a little bit of sanis and balance out all the flavors. Let me mix this together. Yogurt is a great substitute for eggs in your cakes. It keeps your cakes moist and soft. Now to flavor this, I'm going to add a little bit of rose essence. Just a few drops should be enough. And a hint of cardamom comes from cardamom powder. Just one four teaspoon of it. This batter already smells so good. Now to this, we'll add our dry ingredients, which includes flour. This is normal all-purpose flour, baking powder for leavening, and our ground pistachios. Time to bring this batter together. Simply mix it. And once the batter is almost done, switch over to a spatula and just scrape the bowl making sure there are no flour pockets. I'm going to add the batter into this loaf pan. You know this hint of cardamom, floral notes of rose, this gorgeous color coming from the pistachios. These flavors are totally irresistible. You know, this is one of those first few flavors that I added to my menu. Which menu is a story for another day. But before baking, I'm going to tap this. So I'm tapping this to remove all the big air bubbles that might be trapped inside. Now it's time to bake this at 180 degrees Celsius. This should take around 20 to 25 minutes. When your cake comes out of the oven, keep it on a cooling rack to let it cool completely from below as well as above. If you want to check whether your cake is properly baked or not, use a toothpick, insert it in the center. If it comes out clean, it's perfectly baked. Now I'm going to let this cool for at least 30 to 40 minutes. Our cake is baked, but I'm going to decorate it with royal icing. All you need is some icing sugar and some water. But I'm also going to add a little bit of food coloring to it. Just one drop of pink followed by some water. Make sure you don't add too much water, otherwise your royal icing will turn out to be too runny. Half a teaspoon at a time is best. The consistency of your royal icing should be just like this. Not too thick, not too thin. Now that the royal icing is prepared, let's prepare our pistachios for the decoration. For decoration, I'm using some Iranian pistachios. These have a deep green color and the taste is quite nice as well. 
roughly chop them and set it aside the cake must have cooled down by now let me go and grab it after cooling the cake down completely i'm going to turn it on a plate and remove the liner now i'm going to top this cake off with my royal icing just spoon it onto your cake and let it drizzle from the sides I'm going to top it off with some chopped pistachios and add a few dried rose petals. This cake was an absolute delight to make and it looks so delicious as well. I hope you definitely try this recipe out and when you do let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. I'll see you next week same day same time. Goodbye.